Hey guys, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Island video. So today I'm going to be making spring tack sets for my horses. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Um, so this here is my horse Jelly Bean and the set is like half complete. We've got like the blue Easter egg pattern on the bottom. We got the white one on the top and it's just kind of a mess. So we're going to take this off. And we will come back to this later because I'm going to start with a different horse. Which is going to be one of the new spring horses for this year. So I think that we're going to go ahead and start with this one. I caught him myself, which was pretty exciting. Um, and it has the pretty mane and tail. However, since I can't necessarily really see the dye super good with this particular hairstyle, we're also just going to jump on over to Sweeties and we are going to style this horse's hair. And I also might do a gender and personality swap. So the mane, I think we're going to want it long. Yeah, so we can see it nice. And then this one will make it pretty and we'll do the long wavy braided. Okay, so this looks lovely. And then... For tack, I actually think that the white Easter egg pattern would look good. Um, when I was turning in butterflies, I got an accessory with that and it actually matched really well on the horse. Um, but here's the stuff that we have. We have the saddle pad. Okay, yeah, that matches pretty well. Pretty well. Wait, would the blue look better? No, I think we're going to go with the white for this one. And then we have this paper crown. We've got a head ribbon as well, and then we've got, we'll go ahead and do sports medicine boots, and then we got a tail bow. So that's pretty cute, although should I put the, like, Easter egg basket instead of the tail bow? Yeah, I think that we'll put that just to mix it up a bit, and then let's see what other things I have. I don't know about the head ribbon as well as the crown. And then I also have just plain white rubber boots, which are kind of cute, although I do wish that they were in another color. I mean, I have these. That actually doesn't look too bad. This pattern and that, it's kind of cool. We'll keep it for now. I might change it in the future, though. I think that we have to put a bouquet of flowers in this horse's mouth or a watering can. We'll go ahead and see. Yeah, I don't like the watering can. We're not doing that. Let's see how this looks. Mm, not really the pastel colors I was going for. I do have this clear quartz heart shield that actually looks kind of cute. So I think that we'll go with that. And then I have this plain, like, fabric white watering can. I don't really like the fabric color, though, so I think we'll just keep that off. And then what were we going to do? Oh, yeah, we were going to gender swap. There we go. She is our lovely lady now. And let's craft some tack. I definitely want to do a lighter color. Let's do a dressage. There's actually not a super light color that I could do. I want it to match the pattern but i don't know what color i think we'll go with pastel yellow and then we will make the tier of this clear quartz let's see how this looks it might not look the best yeah i don't know if i'm loving that let's let's just go with white Ooh, oh wait i could make a jumping set instead because i do have the jumping boots of this color so let's do clear quartz let's do white there we go. Okay, that looks better, I think. White. There we go. There we go. And then let's grab jumping boots. Here we go. And that is that. This is our set so far. Um, I don't know what to name this horse yet, though. But let's move on to our next set. And I do think I want to do the Marwari. So I could do this one, which already has a lavender mane and tail that I obtained. Or I could do the one that I caught here. First, let's think of like what set I want to do, and then we can decide whether or not I want to dye it. Oh, the bumblebee set would actually be pretty cute with the pastel purple, I feel. I think it's cute. I think that is cute. And then the purple mane and tail could definitely look good. But also, you guys, there's like a pastel yellow and purple dye that I could get like this pastel purple yellow that could look really pretty if we did like a bumblebee I feel like that could look so cute let's see would this look good I feel like this might look good on the Marwari especially if I do bumblebee so we're gonna go ahead and dye this Marwari okay okay this is interesting this is interesting but I think 
Once we get the bumblebee stuff on there, it'll pull it together and it'll be okay. Um, now, my horse lavender here originally had a bumblebee set, but let's be honest, I, I messed up dyeing the main lavender and I just feel like it just doesn't really look the best, so I think we're just going to switch over the set. Um, the lighting's getting a little weird in Wild Horse Islands, but you know what? That's okay. Alright, so we got saddle pad, paper crown. Ooh, do I do the tail ribbon or do I do a tail bee? I feel like the bee kind of looks a little scary, not gonna lie. I'm not the biggest fan of bugs, so I think we'll go with the ribbon. But we will have a bee aura. And then let's get sports medicine boots, our bell boots. Um, and then I actually did have super cute, uh, like, bee-patterned rain boots, but I gave them to Call Me Horsey for, uh, her horse Phoebe set, which it looks really, really cute on. So, this seems to be our set, but let's take a look and see if I have anything else. Um, I'm not sure if the mane and tail matches great, but that's okay. I think it's okay for the most part. Oh, I do have these shiny purple boots, but that's not the right shade, is it? Oh, maybe this one will look good with just the white boots. I think it does. I think we'll go with that. And then I also have some tin horseshoes that we'll just stick on. Oh, and let's take a look at the stuff that I have for the face. Oh, look at this. I have amethyst and tin heart glasses. Oh, that's cute. That is definitely cute, but I feel like it's not the right shade of purple. But that might be as close as we're going to get to the right shade of purple. Let's see what else I have, though. Oh, you guys, I also have a bee, um, bumblebee head ribbon that I could do and then just not do the crown. I wish I had like a bee halo because I know that they had those last year. Now, bow or crown? Because I feel like bow and crown is too much. I'm thinking crown. Unless I can find a bumblebee halo um, to go with it, I think we'll just go with the crown. And then, yeah, this is our set. Oh, and I forgot the... Uh, bridle and saddle. Um, we have this bumblebee one in clear quartz tier. That's cute. And then our saddle. I believe I already crafted one. Yes, I did. In white. Although I could do one in yellow to kind of match the hair. I don't know if it's the right shade. We're going to try it and then I can always just sell it. Um, we got pastel yellow in clear quartz. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing that. And then we are going to name this lovely lady bumblebee, of course. Because it's only fitting. That is so cute. Okay, let's move on to our next horse. And then this one is the Icelandic. I have a couple that I could do. This one I obtained and it has pink mane. But this one I caught. Um, we have to decide on what set we want to do. Oh, Easter egg in blue. That's actually quite perfect. But then what would I put on our Easter egg thoroughbred? Jelly bean here would also look good with that. We got sports medicine boots, we've got a tail ribbon, and I think that's all from the blue set that I have. That's okay though, this actually doesn't look too bad. Wait, is this main gray? Is that what I'm seeing? It says it's white, that does not look white to me. And then we do in fact need to dye the mane and tail. Would the mermaid fade look good? Like, would this kind of look good? I feel like it kind of fits the color, but I also feel like the blue might be too bright. I think I need to ride this horse because it keeps running away from me. We could do the Glacier Fade. That honestly might look good. Or I could just buy some pink dyes from Larry because why not. We'll just buy pastel pink. Went ahead and got two of those. Here we go. Let's dye the mane. Okay, I think that's cute. Let's do the tail. Perfect. And then let's see what other things I have because... We don't have many accessories on this horse right now. I really want to put some Easter egg boppers on this one, but I don't have the right color at the moment. So if I can get a better color, then we'll be good. But for now, the tulip crown I think looks good on this horse. This one is the one that we'll put the tulip crown on for now until I can get boppers. <gasps> Wait, I have fabric pink and fabric blue heart glasses. <gasps> okay, the mane kind of gets in the way, not gonna lie. Maybe we need to take this girl to the hairdresser and see if we can find a haircut that um, will be okay with these glasses because these glasses are really cute and we're keeping the glasses. Okay, the medium will be okay if we have the medium. And then we're also going to give a pretty tail. I think we'll do the long blunt braided. So there we go. Oh, how cute is this hair? That is so cute. 
And then I have the perfect thing for the feet. We're just going to do these training blue hoof trails. Yes, that is perfect. For the shoulder, I'm not sure if I have the best thing. This snowflake shield might look good, but at the same time, it's like a snowflake. I do have a neon turquoise orb aura. That's a little crazy though. I feel like this set's a little crazy. And I still don't know if I'm loving the mane and tail, you know? We're just going to keep it because the long is too long and the short is too short. I think that this Layla's blue color actually looks pretty good. Um, and I already have some of that tack, so we'll just go along with that. Oh wait, I actually have an Easter halter in blue. So we'll put that for that. And then, yeah, that saddle looks pretty nice. Although I also have one in clear quartz. Yeah, that clear quartz looks cute. Or I have one in iron. Or I have one in silver. Silver is even better. Okay, we're going to go with this. Um, I don't know what name yet. You know, maybe I'll just name this horse Easter Egg. We're going to do that. There we go. So this here is Easter Egg. I still can't think of a name. Maybe we'll think of one in the next video. Um, but anyways, stay tuned for part two. And those are all of these sets that we made in this video. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe for more Wild Horse Islands content. And I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.